In this video, I will demonstrate how to create a vertical alignment using OpenRose Designer Connect Edition. From our workflow, make sure that OpenRose Modeling is selected. From the ribbons, I'm going to select the Geometry tab. From Vertical, we're going to select Open Profile Model. Notice there's a, plot, there's a prompt to locate plan element. I'm going to select a alignment, horizontal alignment that I created previously. I now have a prompt to select or open view. I'm going to select my view and I'm going to data in that view and I now have a profile of the existing terrain displayed. I'm now going to return to vertical I'm going to select lines so that I can start placing my tangents. I'm going to select profile line between points and I'm going to place my first data at the beginning of my terrain. And note in our callout here we have length displayed so we can actually set our length but I'm going to use the arrow key on my keyboard and that's going to take me to the slope. And I'm going to set the slope to minus 3%. And note that the 3% is being held throughout that tangent. Let's bring this over a bit. So I'm just going to place my point there. And I'm going to place another tangent. And we'll just place it there in our final tangent. I'm going to reset to end. Now that we have our three tangents, I am going to add curves. So returning to vertical, I'm going to select curves and I want profile curves between elements and profile, excuse me, parabola between elements. I have a prompt to locate my first profile elements. So I'm going to select my first tangent and my second I'm just going to data just above my tangents because uh, we are in a in a sag I do want to trim both so just data and I'm now ready to place my second curve I'm still within the command so note that I have a prompt to locate first profile element once again first tangent, second tangent, and here we're going to crest. So I'm just going to place my data point just beneath my tangents. And again, I do want to trim both, so I'm going to left click. Okay, I now have my profile. However, when I select my profile, these are still individual segments. So the next step is going to be to complex my geometry. So I'm going to select Complex Geometry and Profile Complex by Element. The method, I want Automatic. And I'm going to set my maximum gap to 1. Be sure to select a feature definition. And I'm now going to key in a name for my profile. I have a prompt to look at the first element. So I'm going to select the first tangent and I'm going to accept. My profile is ruled and I can now report on that alignment. 